Um, the remain in Mexico policy, which I oppose, the court said I had to maintain it. So we're repealing it. That's one of the reasons why we haven't changed it. We have made a gigantic change. There were over 5,000 children, children in, in, the, in, in the custody of the Border Patrol. They're now 504. We are making more progress than you think. And we have a circumstance where one of the things that is going to bear fruit, I believe, is I put together a program I was a senator and the vice president helping, helping initiate it now, where we provide for funding to change the circumstances on the ground in the countries in Central America. For example, you're in a circumstance where, you know, people don't just sit around the, their, their hand you table and say, I got a great idea. Let's sell everything we have, give it to a coyote, let them take us across the border, drop us in the desert, place they don't want us. Won't that be fun? People do it because they're desperate. They're desperate. And what I've been trying to do, and I'm trying to do in this legislation as well, is get funding so we have funding for immigration officers to be able to hear cases immediately of whether or not they justify having asylum granted to them. Mr. We President, don't have that. You have kept in place um, uh, under public health authority known as Title 42, yes. which is a Trump era policy, which allows immediate or very quick uh, return to people who have crossed over the border based on COVID protocols. Yes. And that is, we've maintained that because of the extent of the, of the continued extent of COVID in those countries from which people are coming. It's very, very high. And so we maintain the policy. We are, we're not sending back children. We send back adults, and we send back fa large families. But we don't send back children in that circumstance. And so that's why I pro have a proposal to provide for over a billion doses of, of COVID vaccine to the rest of the world, including a significant portion to Latin and Central America. Do you have and plans to visit the southern border? Uh, I've been there before, and I haven't. I mean, I know it well. I guess I should go down, but the but, but the whole point of it is I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of time to get down. I've been spending time going around looking at the $900 billion worth of damage done by, uh, by hurricanes and floods. And, <laughs> and she went like this, <laughs> down the hall. All right. No, oh. look, it, it, it really makes a gigantic difference. And think of this. You have... More countries in the world with having providing college, I mean, pr 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 providing professional education beyond 12 years, we rank like I think it's, don't hold me the number, I think it's 16 or 17 in the world. The United States of America, for God's sake. This is about putting us in the game.